As we get started on our portion on invisible machine applique, I would like you to grab your monofilament thread, a cotton bobbin, and a Microtex needle. If you're new to invisible machine applique, this is a great block to start on. It's a very simple curve and you'll get the hang of it quickly. Next, you'll take your monofilament thread and thread it through your needle and then use your matching cotton thread in the bobbin. Now that you have your piece ready, we're gonna set our machine to a zigzag stitch and we're gonna set the width to one and the length to one. This makes it so that it's just barely a zigzag. It almost looks like a straight stitch as you're working, but um, it will kiss either side of the applique and the background fabric. But as you're working, the zig will go into the handle and the zag will go just on the very outside edge of your applique piece. And we're always gonna start on the inside of our curve. Now the reason we always start on the inside of our curve is because as you work, when the inside is secured, if you press this again, say you have a harsher curve going on, you can actually press it and you'll get more stretch as you work towards the outside. And as you're working, make sure that things are staying flat and don't be afraid to pivot if you need to. Just try to do this gently and ideally you would pivot as you're stitching, but sometimes it's unavoidable. We have one side done already. So as you can see, we've got this teeny tiny stitch that you can barely see all the way along this edge. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And I'm actually gonna start on this side this time. It just feels a little bit better for me. So here we have our edges all sewn on. I'm just gonna go through and cut off my excess stabilizer and then we can move on to stitching this block together. If you liked this tutorial and would like more tutorials or classes like this, please visit my website at www.rachelrossi.design.